from his point of view tonight, where are the key areas in the pitch for us? Where's, where's this game going to be won and lost? I think for me, we've got a creative ability in the final third that's absolutely frightening, Chris. Mizian hopefully can produce a bit of magic like he's done at the weekend. We've got Martin Boyle, who always thrives in occasions like this. So hopefully we, we see a match winner, we see a Hibs team that's right up for this one tonight. Marks will get us underway, attacking the goal to our left-hand side. And a very large Hibs support. Never the atmosphere, Fine Castle is rocking. And we're underway. The ball played forward, but out for a throw into Hibs over on the far side. Ball delivered by Emiliano. Newell strokes it goalwards. Came in late from the edge of the penalty area there, Joe Newell. Marshall clears from the edge of his penalty area. Lewis Miller gets a good flick on. Phil Inventi tries to knock it down for Boyle. He's won it at the edge of the area. Chance here for Martin Boyle. Too close to the goalkeeper, Emiliano. He doesn't miss for the second attempt, though. And Hibs lead in the Edinburgh derby. Emiliano Arcondes. Martin Boyle was put through. Got himself a very tight angle there, Joel. The shot was blocked, but it broke kindly for Emiliano. And he didn't miss for the second attempt. Absolutely delightful there from Emiliano, but fantastic from Hibs. The, the stress, the pressure that they're putting this Hearts back line under created that, that situation. And unfortunately for Martin, it didn't quite come off, but Emiliano instinctively following up and gets his just rewards. Certainly no, no question at all there of offside. And a terrific finish from Emiliano Arcondes. Won well by Martin Boyle cleared off the line by a Hearts defender but it broke kindly for Emiliano and he blasted it into the back of the Hearts net Kent then goes long looking for the run of Shankland Rocky is there, it broke kindly for Forrest, Shankland's effort is blocked, Vargas challenged by Mariah Welsh, the ball still at the edge of the Hibs area, a good ball by Shankland out to Cochrane, cuts it back, no one there in maroon and white Mariah Welsh clears it of a fashion Hearts win it back. Devlin forward now for Forrest again. Forrest will look to run towards the edge of his 18 yard box. He's inside the penalty area. Bundled over by Lewis Miller. Shoulder to shoulder. And then the penalty's given. If this goes against the home side, I don't think they'll be too happy about it. It's almost like the two players have collided there. Is it? Is it actually a foul from Will Fish? He's not made any attempt. You know, he's, he's actually pulled out of the challenge. Vargas looks as though he's caught Will Fish's trailing leg and gone down. Well, he's stuck with his decision. Shankland up against Marshall. Lawrence Shankland right-footed, shoots and scores. Excellent penalty kick, as to be said, Joel. High to the top left-hand corner as we look at it. David Marshall couldn't get there. And with uh, 46 minutes now on the clock, Hearts bring themselves level. Decent delivery. Rocky climbs, nods it across, and it's off the line from Dylan Venti. Marcondes nods it back in again. Hibbs just can't get the, the effort on target. And another corner will beat up. Mizian on this near side. Holds it in. Obita continues his run forward. It's a decent delivery. Hard ball in there. Forrest for Hearts. Far edge of the Hibs 18 yard box. Looks for the shooting opportunity. Straight into the arms, or in the hands rather, of David Marshall. Similar to the penalty, we're putting ourselves under unnecessary pressure. Lovely flick by Mizian to Dylan Venti. Driving forward to the edge of the penalty area. Venti's effort is deflected wide. Lovely ball to the back post area. Mizian brings it down superbly. Can he find someone? He can't. The only man inside the six-yard box was Rocky. It didn't fall for him. Shanklin plays it down this near side for Vargas. Drives into the Hibs penalty area. Vargas. Well. Flag is up for offside again. Vargas looked a fair bit offside there when the ball was played forward. His finish, in fairness, was horrific. 
Back for Dylan Venti. Martin Boyle is three over on the far side. Venti opting for the shot. Emiliano back into Venti. Boyle goes for the byline. Cuts it across. Again, Hearts defend it well, though. Surely one of these chances are going to go in, Cliff. Um, Hearts resolute defending. But like I said, surely one of these chances will find itself in the back of the net. Corner to Hibbs. Emiliano will take again, right-footed. Whips it in, Hearts get it clear. Newell nods it down for Martin Boyle. Right-footed effort. Oh, it's a foot or so too high. Xander Clark flying to his right-hand side there, but the ball clears the crossbar. Emiliano cushions it down for Eli Yuan on this near touchline. Eli Yuan up against Atkinson. Yuan holds it in. Good delivery. Oh, that was a real chance. A real chance. The ball played in beautifully by Eli Yuan. Mizian all alone at the back post. Nods it wide from about six yards out. You really feel he should have scored there, Joel. Grant now for Hearts over on the far side. Plays the ball into the channel. Neuenhoff. Off loads it to Alan Forrest. Forrest looks for the shooting opportunity. Good block. Falls for Shanklin. Great block again by the Hibs defence. Grant does enough. But can't keep the ball alive for Hearts. Nicely played by Mizian. Back out to Ellie Yuan on this near side. Yuan pushing forward into the path of Mizian. Flag stays down for now. Mizian shoots. Blasts it wide of the far post. Yuan picks up just outside the penalty area. Does well, Ellie Yuan. Holds on to the ball nicely. Loses out, though. Hearts with an opportunity to break here. It's two on two. Shankland has it, plays it down the near side here for Vargas and his effort flies off the outside of his right boot tries to turn goalwards but runs into trouble Boyle picks up the clearance drives into the penalty area Martin Boyle can he get it across, cut back by Boyle Johan just won't get there thanks to the touch by Atkinson oh, effort driven goalwards by Abita deflected wide by a Hearts defender it was Frankie Kent in the right spot to block the effort and Hibbs will have another corner but the corner on this near side now will be taken by Martin Boyle. To the near post, nodded clear, Newell picks up. Back out again for Boyle. Played in right-footed, nodded goalwards, but too much on it. Triantis goes long. Miller is on side over on the far side. He's done really well to bring that down, Lewis Miller. Gets it across. Frankie Kent deals with it, not brilliantly. Stabbed by Yuan into the path of... Jordan will beat up, but his effort is into the side netting. Ball to the edge of the six-yard box, Rocky wins it. Martin Boyle can't win it on the edge of the box, it's nicked away from him by Rules. Ball in again, glanced goalwards. Kingsley it will be, he will play the ball into the Hibs 18-yard box. Triantis does really well at the back. Slides it down this near side for Eli Yuan. Is there one last chance here for Hibbs? Yuan cuts inside his man. And he holds on to it just a shade too long, Eli Yuan. Kevin Clancy has seen enough, brings the proceedings to an end. Pulsating Edinburgh Derby here at Tynecastle finishes one apiece. Emiliano Marcondes opener after 27 minutes cancelled out by a penalty in half-time stoppage time from Lawrence Shankland giving Clancy awarding the penalty on field but was then asked by VAR to come and have a review of his decision he did so and stuck with his on-field decision and Shankland buried the ball high into the top left-hand corner beyond David Marshall